Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. So this channel, Everyday Data Science, is all about trying to learn the various concepts involved in data science by practicing a lot of questions. In this video, I am going to solve this question on lead code regarding create a session bar chart and try to walk you through how we can develop queries in such problems. This question has been asked in Twitch interviews over the past couple of years. Okay, so let's jump right in. We are given a table called sessions with two different columns, session ID and the duration, where session ID is the primary key for this table. Duration is the time in seconds that a user has visited the application. Okay. You want to know how long a user visits your applications. So you decided to create bins of 0 to 5, 10, 5 to 10, 10 to 15 and 15 minutes or more. So these are in minutes and count the number of sessions on it. Okay. Write a SQL query to report the bin and total. Return the result in any order. Okay. So let's go through this example. So these are the five different sessions that are given and these are the duration in seconds, but we need to create bins in minute. So zero to five uh, minute basically is zero to 300 seconds, right? So between zero and 300, we have three, then between 300 and 600, that is five to 10 minutes. We have one and then uh, between 600 and 900, we don't have anything and more than 900 we have one right so zero to five we should have three five to ten one ten to fifteen we didn't have anything and so zero fifteen or more okay so let's go ahead and try to build this query right so the thing that we can do is we can use a case when statement to create a third column here to basically generate based out of the duration column what is the bin that they belong to right and then we can group by that bins and count the number of session ids let's go ahead and do this so from sessions table what we can do is we can return everything so that is return both the columns as well as create a third column based on so case when duration is or duration is between how much so 0 to 5 seconds right 0 to 5 minutes right so 0 to 5 is 0 to 300 seconds but if you see here it says 0 to less than 5 minutes so basically 0 to 299 seconds so between 0 and 299 then we are writing 0 to 5 right when similarly when we are doing for other cases right so let me just copy paste to fast track this so between 300 and 599 then it should be 5 to 10 right then when the duration is between 600 and 899 then it should be 10 to 15 minutes and if it is more than that so we write 15 minutes or more right so else 15 minutes or more cool and since we started the case statement, so we need to end it as well. So end as, let's say, bin column, right? Okay. Now, what will this do, right? So let's go through this example. So basically, this is going to have what? 1, 30, and then which of this it belongs to? This one, right? So it belongs to this bin two 199 again belongs to that three 299 again belongs to that four 580 now this belongs to which one 
this one right 5 to 10 minutes because 580 is less than 600 and 600 seconds is 10 minutes right so this is going to be 5 to 10 and then 5 1000 is going to have is between 15 minutes or more right so this is 15 minutes or more now what you can think is let's using this right so we created uh, this table and added a new column and if we group by this column and count the session ids then we, we should be done with so 0 to 5 we count 1 to 3 to 3 5 to 10 1 15 minutes or more 1 now if you see the output there is a problem here since our data does not or our table didn't have any duration between 10 to 15 right so if you go that route right so if you group by here only and count the number of session ids then your output is not going to have this 10 to 15 because the table that you created didn't have anything in that duration so it will entirely skip this row right so but that is a problem because that is not the output that we want so in that that's why we cannot directly group by here so to make sure that we always have these four bins present we need to somehow create a table with a column called bin or whatever but it should have these four values and then you need to join that table on the group by thing and see if there is any value present if it is not and if you are joining the column would be having the null value and then you replace that null value by zero okay so let me just show you what i mean so this was the first one the second thing that we need to do is we need to create something to store these four bins so let's use the union method right so select um we can write this as bin union same stuff right so select five to ten union select 10 to 15 and union the final thing would be select 15 or more right so 15 minutes or more okay so one thing also we need to keep in mind. i think this is a printing mistake here it is written 15 minutes or more but the output has 15 or more so let's for now write it at 15 or more if it throws us an error then we can come back and change it right so here also we need to see so the result will be 15 or more okay so we create this right so and what is this going to return this is basically having a column called bin which has values these right so this then this then this and this right now what we can do is we can use this and join the these values right so basically we can group by and then so like what will happen when we group by this right so it is going to have this and if you count the number of session ids it is going to be three right one two three because for uh, because these three belong to zero to five so three then 5 to 10 it is going to be 1 and 15 or more is going to be 1 as well right so if you join this on this right using the these bins so you can see so 0 to 5 it will go and see oh 0 to 5 3 5 to 10 1 10 to 15 it won't find so it will be having null and then 15 or more it is going to be 
it is going to find and it is going to be one right so that is we need what we need to do okay let me enclose everything in the common table expression right i will delete all this once we are you know done with the query but let's keep it here for now to explain the the concept with cte as right then comma because we can also store this thing into another cte so cte to as and then we enclose the entire thing in parentheses okay so let's do this right so the first thing that we need to do is we need to group by the results from this right so what we can do is then from cte right so from this one this table so this is cte right from cte we can group by what we can group by bin this column this is bin and as bin right and then what you can do is you can return the bin and the count of session id right and let's alias it as c or whatever now basically what is this going to do this is basically returning this thing right now what you need to do is you need to join this on this group by value thing right so we need to join this so what is this this is basically this result right so you need to join this on this thing so what do you need to do is from the second run right so second one was ct2 so from ct2 left join right and we need to do left join on the group section so that means this part and this part is obtained by this entire query right so we enclose this in parentheses and we should give an alias because we are joining so we also need to write an on clause here so let's alias is that w on now how we can join this so ct2 has column bin and this also has column bin so cte2 dot bin is equal to w so w is this entire thing is now w because the alias is at w right so w dot bin right so now once we are done with this we what we can do is we just return the final output right so return what do we need to return the bins as well as the total so ct2 dot bin and then total but again if you join this so let me just you know copy paste this here so that we can explain it okay so right so this is the bin part so this is ct2 and this entire thing or w what we have written is this one and now when you are left joining so what is the final thing that is going to come so this is going to this is going to this call uh, this table and finding oh we have a match three it is going to find this one as well and it will say oh okay now we have one for this it won't find anything right so it is going to have null and what is this column we have alias that c right so and the final thing is this and again this is a match so one right so this is what we do but in the final output we need to return zero wherever there is none so what we do is case when this is w right this is ct2 so when you join them so this is ct2 dot bin whereas this is w dot c because why c c is the alias of this column and since this entire thing is in, in the table called w so this is w dot c so 
when w dot c is not null right so then what do you need to do just return the value in the w dot c column right else if it is null that basically you return zero you end the case statement as total because this is what we need to do get so total and that's it so i guess it should work let me remove everything so that we can go ahead and run this query ct2 okay this is also not required okay so common table expression one comma enclosed in parentheses and everything looks good let's go ahead and run this okay so this is accepted right and our output is same as expected output let me go ahead and submit this and see if it accepts all the cases so yeah it passes all the cases and yes so this is how we do again remember this question might look easy but if you go through the example we, you see that directly going for the group by solution won't work here because of the output is required in a certain way so always you know go through the example and try to see whether you are missing certain cases right so yeah let me know if you guys found this video useful and until then i will see you guys in the next video